Hello, and welcome to part two of Lab 7. In the first part, I incorrectly called Lab 7, Lab 6. So, jumping right back into the code, we have so far written a form action. The next step is to write some Ajax. So, I'm going to grab all this and below our div, I'm going to paste in and close the script tag. And so, we have our change function. So this is some jQuery and JavaScript. And we are going to grab zip code, the ID associated with the user typing in zip code. And it's a dot change. So when the user types in something and the and it changes here, it's going to tell us what the city is. So we are going to call, so we're going to call Ajax. So I have some alerts commented out. These are just for testing purposes. They're helpful if you can't get the value for some reason in this one. Uh, this is to make sure you're getting some data back. And this is an alert status. It's used for debugging purposes. Um, I highly recommend you use these if you're having trouble. So when zip code changes, we're going to get from URL this Miguel Lara Ajax zip.php. So these are all the corresponding zip codes and the, the city they relate to that we have. So obviously you can't type in any zip code, but there is Santa Cruz, Marina, Salinas, some others. If you go to this link here, it'll be blank. You're going to have to pass in a get something like a get variable. For example, zip code equals 95060 and you'll see some data get back so the data type is JSON and then here we're doing data zip code and we're putting grabbing the value of zip code and we're passing it and then here in ID city the span that we created we're using dot HTML and we're putting and we're putting the data of the city that we just got from this file in JSON back in there. Then this is just a uh, debugging purposes saying complete. So for these purposes, if it's complete, it'll alert. If you uncomment this, it'll say alert status. What happened? So if you type in a zip code, for example, if I do one, two, three, four, five, it's going to give us this zip code. If I do zero, 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 it won't change because we don't have a zip code. But if I do 95060, it'll change to Santa Cruz. So you can see that Ajax is grabbing the corresponding city to whatever zip code I type in and changing the city. So that's step two of the tutorial. Now if I go back and grab step three, it's just more Ajax. It's very similar code. Um, it's just... Ooh, Nice errors. Did I miss a line? I did. I missed a line. Copy. Always make sure you got all your closes. There you go. So, um, in step three, we're doing another change function. And we're changing on ID state, which will be this drop down right here. So, if we go back up, remember that this, has an, this drop down has an ID of state. And we're doing the same thing. We're calling Ajax, get, we are grabbing from another file in Miguel Lara's hosting, countylist.php. Again, if you were to go to this file, it'll be blank. You need to pass in a get variable to see anything come up. Data type again is JSON. We're passing in as data the state value. And again, this alert should be commented out. If you don't comment this out, when success happens, it'll show you what data and count counties you got. So it'll give you a bunch of objects. And then here, what we're doing is we're using a little for loop. And first, we're doing opening up an option, select one. So if I was to choose California, first you'll see select one. Then for as many counties as there is, we're using dot length. So grab all the counties. Um, dot length the array and then keep echoing out till we get 
to i is as long as i is less than the length keep echoing i plus plus simple for loop and then we are appending an option value with the county this the element in the array for the for loop that corresponds to i and we're closing the option value then again we're doing a complete function this is again just for deep bugging i have it commented out so when you select california it's going to grab all the california counties and create a giant drop down until you get to the last county and there's one blank at the bottom so if i go to illinois you'll see there's all these counties and then that's our second step so now so far we've populated the drop down and allowed the city to be populated based on what zip code gets typed in so that's step two of part two of lab seven and i will see you in part three